What's up? What's up, everybody? Um, my name is Greg Brown Jr. Y'all can call me Greg, G, whatever little nicknames you want to call me. Uh, I guess whatever. Um, I am <laughs> starting over, I guess you could say. Um, I've been at this YouTube thing a, a few times now. This is probably like my third attempt at a channel. First time I was doing a lot of really <laughs> out there stuff. I was trying to be like an Instagram comedian or something like that. And that didn't really, you know, it just wasn't what I was supposed to be doing. Uh, second time was me trying to sing on here and everything. And I enjoyed that, it was fun. Uh, but also, I probably will sing on here at some point. Maybe put some videos of me singing and stuff on here. But uh, ultimately, the things that I was singing weren't what I was supposed to be singing, if that makes sense. These are so good. Peach rings, get you some. But this is my third attempt. And what I really want to do here is use this as a space for me to express my thoughts, feelings, ideas on a number of things. But I will also be doing that through the lens of my faith as a believer in Christ. I hope y'all are rocking with me. I hope you enjoy the content that I make. Um, I'm only here to, you know, uh, accomplish the will of God for my life. And Everything I do is for the glory. Everything FTG. So, uh, I'll start off with a little introduction. Probably should stop eating this. It doesn't make for a good video eating candy in the middle of the video. Um, my name is Greg Brown Jr., uh, 25 years old. I'm married to my beautiful wife. Uh, I don't know if she want me to say her name on here, so I'm not going to say it right now. But once we get to talking and we come together, then, excuse me, once we get to talking and we come together, um, maybe I'll tell y'all, her, her, tell y'all her name, okay, but, uh, yeah, I'm married, uh, we have three beautiful kids, I'm also not gonna tell you their names yet, because, once again, privacy and things of that nature, but, uh, we'll get there eventually, you know, we just starting out, we'll get there, uh, I live in... DFW, Dallas, Texas. Now, I don't live specifically in Dallas, but I'm also not gonna tell you where I live. I am a worship leader at Freedom Church in Bedford, Texas. That's not my career, but that is my calling, so that's what I'll be going for. That's what I'll be referring to whenever I talk about my job, my calling, my career. That's what, I'm not getting paid for it, but that's ultimately my calling in this world, so to be a worship leader love music. I've been in love with music for as long as I can remember. Uh, I play. I started off playing the drums. Uh, my uncle, he, my whole family on my mom's side sings, so they had like all kinds of music groups and stuff, and my uncle drafted me and was teaching me how to sing and stuff growing up. I didn't want to sing growing up, but eventually they got me into it, so now here I is. I used to be an actor. I used to act in high school. That was kind of where I started acting. And I really did fall in love with it for a while. I had to like make a decision. I had to like really think like, do I want to act or do I want to sing? Like I had to like really figure out what it was that I wanted to do because I love those things both so much. I still do. If I ever get the opportunity to act again, I would love to. I, if it's in the will of God for my life, then I'm gonna do it. But I was born in Oakland, California at Oakland Children's Hospital, I believe it's called. I have to ask my mom. But I'm from, I'm originally from Cali. I was born and raised in the Bay Area. I was born in Oakland, moved to Antioch. So I grew up in Antioch, California, even though I still claim Oakland because Oakland is just near and dear to my heart. But yeah, I grew up in Antioch, California. All my family's still back there. I moved out to te Texas with my wife, who was then my girlfriend. And we've been living here about five years, I want to say. Five, six years. We're, doesn't matter. We've been here a while, <laughs> like five or six years, and I love it out here, man. 
you know, it's just, it's like a nice feeling out here. It feels homey, it feels like, kind of like get like, it's not the South South, but you get like that kind of Southern feel. It's more Southern feeling than California is. And it's like, you know, it, it's just a different place. It's a different, you know, vibe. And I've met some of my uh, closest friends and my favorite church I've ever been to in my life. Um, I just feel like this is where I'm supposed to be right now. We're just trying to live the life that God has called us to live. So, yeah, I mean, it is what it is. Um, I don't really have much else about me. Um, oh, that's a good thing. What's this channel going to be? Um, basically, like I said in the beginning, I kind of want to just express some ideas and some thoughts. Because I, I talk to myself a lot. That's not weird. A lot of people do it. 50% of the uh, world's population have an inner monologue in their head. Um, I don't know if that's the same thing. Anyway, <laughs> uh, I talk to myself a lot. And I felt like it would be better you know, talking to you guys rather than just talking to myself. I still will have those conversations. There's problems with recording outside. And I'm right next to main street but um yeah i still will have those conversations but they'll probably just be preparation for when i come and talk to y'all what kind of things will i be talking about probably everything I, i'm so interested in a lot of things um well, i already said i love music so i'll probably talk about music leading worship some music that i listen to things that i like to hear i really love movies like i said i like acting but like I, in the last like i want to say five yeah probably the last like five years i've been like really getting into like the behind the scenes of like film and you know tv and stuff i even took a, a film and television class when i was uh taking classes at the community college over here and i just really am interested in that type of stuff so i'll probably be like maybe talking about some movies that i like and the meanings that i find in them and how i can relate that to god and in my life and everything i really love video games uh i play video games a lot i play now with my sons uh, and so i'll probably be talking about some video games that i like and the stories that i hear and i'll probably be talking about some video games that i like and the stories that you know i i see in the video games i won't be doing like reviews or nothing because that's not really what i'm interested in i'm not really interested in talking about games from like a uh gameplay perspective or anything like that but <clears throat> i probably will be talking about stories i really do enjoy like well-told stories i eat like the movies and stuff so anything like that man really anything oh my faith in god of course absolutely but that'll be tied into like every video because that's like the biggest part of my my uh, my life is my relationship with god so i'll probably be you know weaving in scriptures and stuff you know I, got the bible with me bible on deck at all times just want to kind of have a little outlet to talk about some things that i feel strongly or don't feel strongly about things that are going on in pop culture how i feel about them how they affect me what what i believe it means about my faith or how my faith means i should interact with those things and stuff like that so i think that's it i don't think there's anything else really that i need to say about that so um this feels really good by the way feels like something i'm supposed to be doing so uh lord willing this will be you know uh first of many so i appreciate y'all listening to me listening to me ramble because i do that i ramble i get off track shout out to my little sister kimmy shout out to you for telling me i should get back on youtube and my wife for telling me as well because she was the main one who's been telling me i gotta do something on here but my little sister hit me up said she was watching my old old videos you will never see those let me just be clear you will never see those because i've taken those down so i i don't want anybody to see that i don't want you that to affect the way you look at me now so but yeah um i appreciate everybody who's encouraged me to do this also uh, one thing i probably will do is maybe give y'all some behind the scenes of like what it's like for me to lead worship at my church and stuff so if as long as that's okay with my uh my leaders at church and stuff as long as they're okay with it then i'll probably show you some of that too so be on the lookout um right now i'm on social media you can find me at uh g underscore brown underscore jr g brown jr on tiktok and instagram i'll probably make y'all a twitter 
one specifically for so you can see like my different like socials so the goal with everything else so i'm gonna make a g brown jr twitter soon uh so if you want to tweet me uh you want to in tweet me questions or you can dm me questions on instagram uh tiktok whatever um go follow my tiktok go follow my instagram one thing everything for the glory everything ftg that's my biggest thing in my life that's like my family's vicious thing everything for the glory we do everything for the glory of god and we live our life in a way that glorifies god so people can see god's light shining through us so Remember that. Everything FTG. Alright. Love y'all.